Play has started around the country, and now we are underway on national television for the first time this season for the Longhorns as they got their season underway. And Bella Dayton in the leadoff will draw the walk to start the night. And we saw that a lot last year and this year. Slammed right back up the middle. Brady at short turns the double play. Well, Maya Brady in a really big position defensively as well as offensively. Trying to mix speeds, knowing that Martinez can see so much. Get you with the rise. Side retired. They're still a little bit over and right. <laughs> She'd love to try and fill one in there and is punched out for the strikeout, two down. Start against UCLA. Freshman meet fire. <laughs> Ground ball, and that's off the glove of one of the other youngsters, Katie Stewart at third base. Mallory continuing to battle. It's a good look at Kavan, and this ball is just going to take a hop. That's probably one that Katie Stewart needs to get. <laughs> Kavan gets the swing and the miss. Her second strikeout, terrific freshman class from a year ago, and the numbers they put up and all back for a sophomore season. Kelly Inouye Perez, when we talked this week, said it starts with her. And there's a blast. Atwood deep into the night and gone. Wow, that ball was just bashed. Reese Atwood showing what she can do. All that power on a pitch that was up in the zone. It's supposed to be a rise ball, just doesn't get up. Pretty cool for her. I think sometimes it's good, too, for someone who's normally quiet. Freezes Washington on it. Crowder to Brady, who charges. And gets the third out. 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Tegan Kavan looking very poised in the circle in her first career start. A team that was the World Series last year. That's laced to straightaway center and off the glove of Bella Dayton. Ramirez racing around the second and she'll slide in safe. That was a rocket off the bat. Yeah, Ramirez just gets all into this pitch. A little bit more inside and uh, Ramirez is just gonna go get it. This ball does show up over the white. Out in front and with the pass ball, Ramirez to third. See if Kavan can take care of this herself here. 0 2 pitch. Got her. 0 2 pitch. Foul territory down the left field line, and Mia Scott's under it. Plenty of upsets, including Charlotte with the biggest win in school history. They knocked off Florida State. She was out taking some ground balls, yep. but the, the quote from Coach was that uh, she was going to be, they were going to. Yeah, be careful with They'll take it, yep. yeah. Exactly. Well, that's the Shriners Children's Clearwater Invitational. And it will, uh, let's see, first pitch is Thursday morning on the ESPN Networks. Scooped up again by Brady. She's been busy at short. Was out on the uh, double play ground out. The throw is awry out to right field and sliding in safely to score is Simmons. Um, remember, Beth, this is a UCLA team because of the injury earlier today to Mionio. They are all out of position. Scott off of Tinsley, the ricochet backhand by Brady, fires a first, got her. As Woolery was able to keep her foot on the bag to get the second out, Dayton moves over to second base. And I love the way that Brady is able to keep her eye on this. You have 20 seconds, the pitcher and the batter, to get ready to hit. Brady struck out looking at an off-speeder first time up. Let's see how she adjusts. Second time seeing Kavan, and she got hit. Gutierrez as well, another great drop off. Lori was fooled by that. Strikeout number five for Tegan Kavan. For a lot of these players growing up and playing travel ball, and playing two, three games a day, to have that versatility as Tinsley gets the strikeout. Gets all into it. Chopped. Cut off by Malou, makes the play at third, two down. You just mentioned, Beth, I think that's the pitch that really is going to set Tinsley apart if she can throw that. Oh, and she gets the nice one, two, three inning there. Check swing, popped, and caught at third by Katie Stewart. Chops that to short. Vivi's got it, and a one, two, three inning. That's the first one tonight for Tegan. Bookending the... Major season. There's a rope off of Kuro's glove and out to Pola in right field. Well struck by Jolie Mitchell. 
This is where I'd like to see Tinsley throw an off speed in the dirt. Or curveball outside. That works too. <laughs> Gets the punch out. Her fifth of the night. 50 degrees right now. Feels like it's probably a little chillier. Right back to Tinsley who bobbles as she turned and tried to start a double play, and instead both Longhorns are safe. Tinsley, this ball hit right back to her, and she knows this is probably going to be a double play, and you can just see the way it spins in her hand. And she draws the walk to load the bases. Scott, shallow fly ball, and that's going to drop in. One run will score. They'll try for two, and thrown out at the plate is Ashton Maloney. And that's what Tinsley goes to. There's Martinez, a chance to really bust this thing open. Could not hold up on the swing, and a big strikeout for Tinsley. And on this opening day of the season for the Bruins, they got it going in the later innings against Maryland, Michelle, as they rallied to beat uh, the Terps late on the Garcia home run. She got Curro on a curveball back in the second. One of the five strikeouts. There's a slow roller to Alyssa Washington, one down. Scared by Washington. Can't get it through the right side. Alchin retired, two down. There's a hit batter. A freshman has been able to come back and get a strikeout. Well struck and back to make the catch is Ashton Maloney. Woo. May still be in college this year, or maybe just out. That would be in prime position to try and make that 2028 team. Well, she seems to be getting stronger. That's three of her last seven. And there's another rocket over the head of Pola. And they will be able to keep Reese Atwood to a long single, but she is stroking it tonight. Spin on it. They got away from her a little bit. Washington drives one down the line out to left. Two on with one out for Texas. Mitchell gets a hold of one. Back to the track, and with room under it is Alchin. The runner at second advancing to third, and sliding in safely is good. On the tag. Four of the five that have come to the plate have been swinging at the first pitch. Hard shot, knocked down at second base by Kuro, who goes the short way to Brady. Next on the docket, Sunday afternoon at 4 Eastern. And Brady is aboard for the second time. 3-0 pitch, they still try to challenge Brady on the inner half. And I like the fact that they are oh. coming in on that inside corner base percentage. <laughs> Jordan Wolverine, that will find the base of the wall. Brady racing around, they'll hold her up at third. And with nobody out in the bottom of the sixth, the tying run will come to the plate. Missed it, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. Go ahead run now at the plate for UCLA. Three twos in the dirt, and that'll walk in a run. So that'll do it for Tegan Kavan, and Sit Lali Gutierrez will come on in relief. Ramirez, slow roller to short Martinez to second for one, over to first, not in time. Take a look at her out distribution map. So this is where she gets the majority of her outs, and you can see a lot of them are in that lower inside quadrant to right-handed hitters. Slow roller to third. Stewart checks the runner, fires to first, got her for the second out. Jadlyn Alchin will step in on the left side. First pitch swinging off the end of her bat, and Texas will limit the damage to more softball here at UCLA Bruins and Oklahoma State. Backhanded by Tinsley over the first two down. Keep that momentum going. Tinsley knocks it down, and the backhand not fast enough to get to Scott. Well, just as I say that, <laughs> ball goes <laughs> back to her. Two outs. Yeah. Not this time, Tinsley gets the strikeout to the bottom of the seventh we go. Malauli snagged by Stewart at third, one down. Yeah, the next three up, all Americans last year. Polo backs up Washington, two down. Longhorns one out away, but Brady one swing away from tying it up. Flirted with the Pac-12 triple crown. One, two, 
Going to have to leg it out. Gutierrez flips in time, and Texas holds on for the win, and they beat UCLA.